hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys if you want to use the external keyboard so it's time to disable the laptop internal keyboard on your windows 10 11 or any other versions so let's start without wasting our time so we will create the restore points first of all if anything happens on your windows 10 or the 11 you can create the restore point okay you should be getting this option off so you need to click on this option configure okay and turn it on this option first and then click on ok and then click on create and you can select here the date okay like 3 9 9 2000 is like this okay click on create and this will create the restore point so it is safe to create this restore point first of all before applying any methods okay it's recommended you just need to wait for some time and then you will see the restore point has been created successfully you can see restore point created successfully close this option now go to device manager first and we need to disable the driver of the internal laptop okay so just click on that okay, device manager and expand the driver here you will see here the keyboard and this will be your keyboard driver okay just right click it and click on okay you will see here uh, there is no option of like uh, disabling it okay so how to do that you need to click on update driver and click on browse for computers and click on let me pick from available drivers and you need to untick this option show compatible hardware this is the compatible hardware you need to select any random here like select any random okay and click on next like this click on yes okay once you click on close you will see the restart pop up here and the driver will be different here as well okay so just restart your system here and now your internal laptop keyboard will be disabled permanently okay so if you want to re-enable this option you can just right click it update driver okay and choose this time show compatible like this and it will automatically scan your PC laptop and click on next and it will automatically install the correct driver you need to just restart your system okay if this method somehow is not working and you are not able to find the correct driver so in this case restore point will work click on restore and click on that okay and click on system restore and you will see next and you, you can see here we just created it or you can see the more restore points but this is the actual one we just created it click on next and click on finish click on yes and this will take almost 20 to 30 minutes and your system will be restored to back stage where your system was working fine okay so this is a method hope this video is useful for you and your issue has been fixed now if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech